But as we know, we are approaching the Thanksgiving holiday and what happens after Thanksgiving, we've got Black Friday, but we have Small Business Saturday. And there's a showcase going on this Saturday where you can go and find a hundred small businesses all in one place with some fun. Bob Killian's around the corner to tell us more about this event. Come on in. Hi. I appreciate you taking the time to come in today. Thank you very much. Step in appreciate the box. Being here. Let folks know. I know you're very busy getting ready for the Saturday. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. So you've got the involvement of you know, or you know, small business association um, administration. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, you've got Navigant sponsoring it. Yes, they're a main sponsor. You've got. I mean, people. You know, you see all the commercials on TV, and you see mm -hmm. that Small Business Saturday, and here's the opportunity in one place at the Crown Plaza to access a lot of small businesses. A lot of creative small businesses, I might add. And so yeah. what can folks expect? We'll have links to this on Saturday. You know, good parking. <laughs> That's free. <laughs> Plenty of it, too. We hope to fill it. <laughs> and a full offering of, as you said, especially creative small businesses. How important is this event to some people who are going to be coming out? Might not have storefronts. Right. You know, probably have some right. web presence as well, but to be in that sort of one-shop location. Mm -hmm. It's really small and micro, small type businesses. Yes. It's a very creative product. Um, it does give them a network and a venue that ordinarily would not have. Uh, this event originated from a committee within the Rhode Island Development and Disabilities Council, uh, really tied into employment as it related to uh, the state of Rhode Island and its uh, instruction under the, the, the uh, Department of Justice. Okay. That grew into an idea that incorporated uh, the SBA, Women's Center Enterprise, Veteran Business Outreach Center, um, of course the Rhode Island Development and Disabilities Council, uh, and just a host of Navigant as our main uh, sponsor. And uh, word spread and now we're up over 90 businesses, uh, 100 total before it's over with uh, the different services and whatnot. Um, it's just a great community, I call it a gift, really. Uh, it really is a gift for the community because it's bringing these talents out in the forefront in one place. And if you go shopping there, it'd be easy to cross off the list. And if you're like me, I like to cross the <laughs> list so quick and get out of there. <laughs> well, it's kind of like that one-stop shop, and it's sort of the anti-mall, if you will. Mm. Come small businesses, parking, food and fun. Absolutely. We have uh, Charlie Hall, North State Follies. Spe uh, uh, our... What's more fun than Charlie Hall? Yeah, and he's going to be there all day. <laughs> We're going to have uh, door prizes every uh, half hour. Some of those prizes are really quite nice. They're valuing at $300, $300, Ooh. some of them. Um, one of them actually was donated by Navigant. Uh, Echo Dot oh. will be one of them. So. I hear that's kind of one of those yes. gifts of the season, like one of those like, hot yeah. gifts, it's right? It's like an Alexa yeah. version, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but really, the, the, the range of uh, the offerings from goat soap to cashmere to anything, very natural uh, elements like honey, you know, uh, it's just crazy. Uh, Boda Spa is going to be there and on the massage side. Um, it's just such a wide range that someone coming in there is going to really be able to cross that list off pretty quick. Yeah, uh, you're hearing that, guys and gals, you can cross that list mm -hmm. off. And it's an opportunity, as you mentioned, some of those really small ones. I mean, when we talk about small business, you know, it's Thanksgiving week, and there's a lot of attention paid to Small Business Saturday. But there's mm -hmm. other opportunities for especially the brick and mortar small businesses. If you don't get there this Saturday, you can possibly get there at some other point in the holiday season. Yes. But for some people, I believe this Saturday must be the the opportunity for them to have that audience sort yes. of you know at their disposal if they don't have that brick and mortar store. Yeah, plus where we're located is uh, like the mecca of shopping. My walk <laughs> is the centerpiece of shopping in Rhode Island for the most part. Now businesses range that are going to be there everywhere from Newport to Woonsocket to Jepatchet. Um, everything from food and, and services. And it's uh, really, if you go to uh, our website, www.sbsshopri.com, you can connect to our Facebook through there also. You get to uh, view the different businesses that have been posted and information about those. And it's such a central location, just so easy on off the highway. There's no one in Rhode Island that doesn't know where the Crown Plaza is. You can pretty much hit it with a stone from the highway, and the hours on Saturday are? 9 to 4. 9 to 4. Yeah. Um, this is the first time. Our hope is that this will be something that will continue beyond this year. Uh, it really is an all-inclusive, very wide cross-section of businesses that represent Rhode Island. 
I mean, collectively, I think about like weightlifting. Uh, you know, if you take a bar and you keep putting quarter pounds on it, eventually it gets pretty heavy. Well, the collective energy of these uh, businesses is, is very impactful in the economy in Rhode Island. Uh, American Express hooked into this early on with us, thought it was a great idea. According to them, it's uh, unique, and uh, they don't know of anything quite like it um, anywhere across the states. Well, we'll have the link to that, 9 to 4 on Saturday. That was funny. I was just talking with Pam Hughes with the Mount Hope, the Mount Hope Cowboys, talking about how things take a village. Who's on the team? Navigant's a big sponsor, but who are you working with that's really making this happen? Well, it's very grassroots. Uh, it's myself and a representative from the um, Freshman Business Outreach Center, a staff person from the Development Disabilities Council, uh, a staff person from the uh, Down Syndrome Society of Rhode Island. We have um, some uh, support people coming in from other directions to help with the media. Uh, Communication Works, which is uh, uh, of Rhode Island. Um, and it's really been a building process. We've been working on this for a year. This is a long um, time coming. Yeah. It's the culmination yeah. of the Saturday. And you talk about its beginnings um, with the developmental disabilities. Yeah. Are, are we going to see folks who are there that or with some disabilities have some offerings? People with disabilities will be there. Um, I really can't emphasize enough that it is a cross-section of Rhode Island small business. Mm. The abilities and talents of people are a truly showcased. Um, there are some unbelievable products and services that, that come out of just that group alone, but really it's veterans, people with disabilities, um, uh, minority, or other. Yep. That's kind of how it's, okay. it's broken apart. So wide cross-section again. Mm. Fo you know, focused on this Saturday. This is the Saturday for them to really you know, help them get kick-starting into the holiday season. It's a great way to start, and like I said, it's a very central location. and. Uh, like I told my 25-year-old son, I said, it's very millennial, Andrew. <laughs> it's, it's, trust me. It's, it's very it's, millennial. There's something here for everybody. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> and it's very socially responsible. I'm hoping and it's your very, son it's is going. Is your son going? Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> well, you heard it here. Dad says you are, in fact, going. Absolutely. But it sounds like a great day. Go for a little bit. Go for a lot. Charlie Hall is going to be there. Lots of free parking. Santa. Santa Santa's is going to be there all day. Music. Or? We have some uh, music uh, demonstrations going on. Uh, gee, what else? Uh, there are a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, for some of the parents, there's some uh, child ID services that nowadays of safety and, and whatnot. Yes. You get the fingerprint and the disc and all that. That will be there. Um, and so, a few other things, really, I just can't recall at the moment. Okay, so Thursday you've got Thanksgiving. Friday you might be in recovery. Saturday you might need to get out of the house. If you're not a big Black Friday person, don't like the huge crowds, want to support local businesses. Again, Small Business Saturday at Crown Plaza in Warwick, 9 yes, to 4. Is. Again, we'll have links on the website. The first year. First year. Very exciting. Glad we could yep. get you in here to feature. There's going to be lots of small business uh, offerings around the state. But again, this is really an opportunity for some folks this Saturday to have that audience there. Support your local Rhode Islanders. Get in the holiday spirit. Santa Claus. All day or like a time frame? It's actually a time frame. Uh, we have it split across the 9 to 4. We also have face painting. Ooh. Uh, that will be there. Like I said, there's some things I can't remember right now. <laughs> but uh, it's designed to be energy and focused on family and uh, give people a chance to, to see the talents and abilities of people that ordinarily wouldn't see in a big box store. Yeah, and it's centrally located, sort of that... Uh, you know, community, if you will. I mean, there's plenty of opportunities to go out and about throughout Rhode Island, but if you want everything right there, if you just and want to park the car, too. very different check stuff. different stuff out. You yeah. keep on saying different. You know, we talk about the honey and the, I mean, can you think of anything really um, unique? There's specialty pet foods. Specialty I thought that pet was kind of different. foods. I have yeah. a dog. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess special biscuits and... Uh, you know, healthy animal things. and I like my dog uh, healthy, yes. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, a lot of creativity. Uh, there's a Wreath Obsessed, which is a company that does some really great creative wreaths. Um, we have uh, a few card makers, one of which does cards in sign language, oh. uh, which is kind of neat. That's fantastic. Uh, very popular. Um, so, you know, it's uh, 91 Business Plus Services. It's a wide ranging. I, I just encourage everybody to go to the website, take a look, and you'll see the different. Because you have all the vendors on there, so you can take oh, yeah. a little preview. And if yeah. your if your interest gets piqued, you know, go check it out. Right, and even just go to the web Facebook and like it and spread the word. That'd be good too, because it's a very grassroots approach. Grassroots. 
getting you some PR here in for the Small Businesses for Small Business mm -hmm. Saturday, again, at the Crown Plaza from 9 to 4. We'll have more links for you watching this after the fact. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob, will you be sleeping all day Sunday? <laughs> I can go to sleep now, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. it's, well, are... it's well worth it, though. It's, it really is a gift to Rhode Island. Again, lots of opportunities to check out Small Business Saturdays, but this one at the Crown Plaza, going to have close to 100 businesses and fun and Santa and music and food and free parking. So the first yeah. year that they're doing this, so looking mm -hmm. for some small business fun on Saturday, check it out. Bob, I'll let you go around the corner. Thank you very I much. I appreciate your coming okay. in. Take care. Take care.